Meow and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. So as promised, I did sell lots of books. As you can see, there is oh, like, I only have 129 weight units um, of weight in my inventory. And let me really quick bring a scuba pipe over to Kaios Casadas on my stash. I have been doing some work between the two episodes, so it's right the next day after the last episode for me. And just before starting the recording, I have been doing some homework, as to say. And I created in my nice to do list thing, I created a hidden entry, which I aptly just called a blocker. With pleasure. Please go ahead. I'm all ears. Yes, so you're listening to good. So I created this blocker that will <clears throat> let me hide entries until I unblock them. The idea basically is just, um, let me put a frost salts here too, because we want to have them to buy, buy, uh, buy yes, to blech, create, to build, is what I, what my brain wanted to make me say, to create um, Restore Magicka potions. Okay, so thank you for your, for your understanding and for your listening. I'm going to head out now again. So, um, what I did, I hid some of the to-do things, to-do entries, that I wanted to do later. As, as in, when we don't have anything to do, I'm going to unblock that blocker. Um, so these things are, are there. Basically just push them to the back of the list. Because those sound, um, well, not so interesting. Or I, for example, there's this one quest where I got a blade that I accidentally sold and I think it's gone now. So I actually need to cheat it into the game and I kind of don't want to do this. Okay, so now let me let me show you the full list that we have. And as you see, we still have active saving up 9,600 gold. And the reason I'm looking over in this direction is because there's OBS and there's actually where I see what you see, where I actually see that list. So we have the advancing to master wizard on the top of our list. And I'm going to be doing exactly that now, advancing to what Master Wizard. I did not remember that we um, unblocked that one, that we basically trained whatever we needed to train to become a Master Wizard. But let us just, well, that's a long travel. Uh, well, for me, a chance to push this button here. Sure. <clears throat> we want to head to Sedrath Mora and get to the council or to someone who can advance us in rank. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I'm yeah, I still don't like her. Let me see if there's no there's the potions did not respawn. This is just fortify willpower, which of course will make our spells better and will also um, give us more magicka, more maximum magicka, but it does not restore the magicka. And let's now real quick travel to set with Mora Wolverine Hall. Share your or was Master Wizard actually the major skill? Let me real quick still press the wrong button. Be real quick. That was actually the major skill, so I cannot I could just talk to someone here. I must say I think I that was <laughs> in my Please go ahead. Uh well I did not have I did not find the papers, but how about an advancement? I'm now Master Wizard. Hooray! So now that I'm Master Wizard, I should see if people have more you quests like for me. Good thank you, thank you, thank you. I should have done this, I should have prepared this basically, um, so I know whom to ask. Um, but let's see what else is on our list now. So I'm going to have to add things. Um, and what I'm going to add is actually for the major guild. Um, do this so you can see, read it for the major guild. Um, check major guild quests and add them to to do list. The idea is. 
or at them add best givers to to-do list. The idea is that basically I don't want to run around now every time that advance, run around to all the quest givers. Um, I'm going to do the same for house Telvani. Check Telvani quests and add givers to to-do list. So the idea is when I do these, this homework, I'm going to do this for all now. Sorry that you need to see me doing my homework. I do part of my homework. I told you that I did homework, but I didn't do anything. I didn't do everything. Yeah. Then. Thinking of multiple t things at once is not a good idea. Let me real quick finish that so we can continue the game, right? Um, check temple quests and add givers to to do list. So these should be our main our main uh, factions. Yes, exactly. Perfect. So um, of course it does show it does now show that I want to check the major skill quest, but of course this is something I'm going to do off, off stream. Um, so the next thing is checking on my stronghold. So let's see what day it is. It is day 294. We need to wait three more days. Okay, so next thing we'll be training alchemy to level 50. Let's see if we have already finished that. Because I'm pretty, I'm, I know that we did train alchemy. Yes, we're at level 53. So let us check that one off. And it says advance to curate in temple. Perfect. So we can also advance to curate in temple, which I'm going to do right now. Umbra. I have certain places where I usually go. So um, normally I would have asked our good friend Ajira for advancements, uh, but since I already was in, in over in Serith Mora, I just do it there. And for the temple, my go-to place usually is the Balmora temple. And this is simply because Balmora is the first city you go to in the game. Look all those flowers um, growing through the stairs. It's, uh, and, and thus I'm just inclined to go here so let's see, it might even be this person here. Um, no. As I said, I didn't play for a long time. I think the person with advancements is upstairs if they're not down here. <sighs> and there we go, advancement. You are now 90, the curate. And we can check that one out. And now we can ask Andris Lelethon for duties. Question is, where is Andris Lelethon? Let's see, did I did I make a... No, of course. Yeah, it is the Vivek Temple. Thank you. I did make a note. So now we can basically do more quests for the temple. So the idea is when I say... I want to put the quests into the to-do list. It's simply um, not the quests themselves, but basically when you advance to this level, then ask this person for quests. That's basically what I want to add. And I want to add the requirements for advancements from the wiki into the to-do list. Uh, so I, j I know where to go, whom to ask Summoned for quests. Questions again. Yes, uh, actually, I can just use the guild guide. I think that would be faster because I would be a bit more south in Vivek. You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Ah, she's so easily flattered. Okay, so um, we run for here. Avoid the person who's coming towards to us. You. And there we go. A pleasure to meet you. Whee! I mean, we are a kitty, right? We can jump down the stairs. Oh. Okay, now the temple. That would be more south. I should check where the boat is. Of course, the boat is north. Which means I'm running in the exactly wrong direction. Hey, hey as always. My 
Uh, orientation skills are not that good in games. <laughs> so the boat should be somewhere here. And yes, I know it's one layer lower than this one. So I might have to quick save. And then... Oh, over there, there's the boat. Well, anyway, I'm going to break my leg and then heal myself again. Because that's what us kitties do. I'm going to use this to get to the temple district and ask for more duties. Uh, let's go to the Hralo area and then to the temple. Travel to the temple. I mean, these are cheap travels. And the weather is very nice right now. I'm really wet to see. But, yeah, well, that's what happens if you walk out in the rain. Okay, now I again have to remember where was that temple thing. I think it is here and then just go here into the middle, right? Is there something I can do for you? Ah, oh, that was the person. Have you relaxed in your duties? I want more duties. A precious relic of a temple. The shoes of Saint Realms have been lost. Ah. Huh. So, um... Shoes of Saint Realm. Which is a quest of, um... Real quick. I mean, I need to. This is this is why I made this, right? Um, when I did the shoes of Saint Realm, I need to ask for more duties again. So the shoes of Saint Realm. Let's see what they what they have to say. What he has to say. In a dream, a priest had a vision of the shoes of Saint Realms lying neglected in the depths of Alt Sotha, just north east of Vivek. Go to Al Safa and if this is a true vision, return the sacred relic to the temple. I offer you these potions. Ooh, restore health, nice. So we have the shoes. Get shoes of Sand Realms from Alt Sotha. That would be northeast of of Vivek. And of course, I'm going to do that now. Bring shoes of Saint Realms back to Andrin Lefen in Vivek Temple. The reason why I write these is that if we have to abandon the quest, I know what we were doing, right? So, the shoes of Saint Realm. Okay, so now we try to get to this Elsotha. Do you have to have, do you have any more hints? Go to Elsotha, just northeast of Vivek, and return this sacred relic to the temple. I am blessed to be at your service. Well, that sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Also, I have this this one thing here, which kind of annoys me. It tells me to advance to Diviner in the temple, which of course. I will not do until I'm done with the current quest. No, nope, that's actually wrong. That's the one I should have. Ah. 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 Let me just ignore it. I need to, I need, as I said, I need to do that off stream because it requires some some preparation. Okay, so they said northeast and um, that's also where the boat is because we're going to go to the back to the Ferner district. Let's check the map. So here's Vivek and I guess it is somewhere I've been hard it's somewhere here ish. Northeast no northeast is here. There's also there's even a nice 
handy dandy map marker nice so let us head there travel to back to Valo district of course I could have traveled to my own house to the Telvani district and then travel to the foreign quarter and then I guess you don't offer travel services outside of Vivek. No, you don't. Speak, traveler. So we're just going to. This is north. Just going to go and head over. It's basically just in this direction. So I could just run through the wilderness. is if I just run through the wilderness I might miss stuff so I'm going to stay on road like things I think the music has changed to the fighting music but I don't see anyone anyone attacking me nope it's the regular exploration music okay then let us go here. We might actually have been there already. Let's see. <clears throat> so we've been here already, that's for sure. Follow this road. Yeah, I think we talked to some of these farmers. Okay, then let, let's head on past these farms, painfully slow that we are. That's one of the reasons why you love the horses in, in, in the newer games. On the other hand, since they have fast travel, it makes the horses redundant, so it's kind of yeah, it's kind of weird. You have the horses, on the, on the other hand, you have fast travel, you don't need them. You can just click somewhere, it just means that you need less in-game time to actually do the traveling. So there's also lots of slaves here. Freeing the slaves is one of the things that I pushed back to later. There's a person standing in the middle of the road. Let's see what they have to say. What's this regarding? Oh, a quest. As I thought. Greetings. Perhaps you can help me. I was supposed to meet my business partner here, but I was running late, and it looks she went ahead to Molagmar without me. So, who is your business partner? Oh, my business partner is Vanjira, and we were going to do some business in Molagmar. I was detained, though, and it seems she's gone ahead without me. I'm a bit surprised, because it's a fairly dangerous trip. Dangerous trip? I've heard the road here is populated by dangerous creatures, and I fear I can't make it alone. Perhaps you would be willing to escort me? I have little to compensate you for your trouble, but once we meet up with Vanjira, she should be able to reward you well. Um, let's see if I can... I guess I can just... No, I cannot. Damn, that's, that's actually... That's very, very um, good. can't ask him to join me anymore. That's that's sad, but it's very good. He's like, I told him no, and he says, yeah, well, you said no. Um, so you can't pick up that quest later. I would be, I would have been nice. I would have been nice. I would have been happy if I could, though, but it actually makes the game more, more realistic. I mean, yes, I'm losing out on content, but it's basically, I chose to lose out on content. I could have just done that. I could have just abandoned whatever I'm doing right now and escorted him to Molagmar, that's, I mean, in the end, that's what he wants. And if I don't drop whatever I want, it means I'm of no use to him. And this means he's not going to accept my services later, because I didn't help him. So it doesn't make lots of sense, actually. 
Al Safa. I think these ruins here are, are Al Safa. Let's see. That flower reminds me that we're also supposed to pick up a very special gold colored flower. And I think that was even close to Vivek. I need to check. Come on, be paralyzed. Oh, well, if you don't, then let me just do this to you. He's not, he's not destruction, he's, he's, not, he's rather fire resistant. Come on, yes. And this also heals me, so that's a nice blade. They don't drop anything. Ah, nose is itchy. That seems regular gold colored. I, I don't know if it's if it actually is here the flower. The music stopped. This is why I stopped talking. If it's actually here the flower that I'm looking for, or if it's something else. There is someone there. Let me just quick save. That is a person. Let me see if I can kill them by myself. Or if they. They're actually friendly. Hello. I don't know you what you want. Okay, they, so they aren't. They aren't immediately hostile. But he is. Ah, so they do resist the, they do resist, now I got it, they do resist the paralyzation, but they don't resist the leeching of life. So the humans here are not necessarily hostile, which is good. And I do know that even this game has DJ quests. Oh, there were the Rolands here. Those are the ones that I was looking for. Those are the special gold kind of flowers that I should be looking for. Nice. Now let me see. Show to do list. Those should be here on the list somewhere. Find Rolands here near Vivek. There. Bring Roland's tier to. We should enable this one. And also, we should uh, real quick this one. Because that's what we're doing right now. So we might pick up a did request here since the people are not hostile. I'm not very sure how this works in this game. Let me drop my weapons so she does not get distraught from me running around with my sword and she might even fear just me running up tripping and falling to my sword right so let's save and then head inside to Al Safa and I drop the save because I will just go and assume that humans in here are not hostile because the woman outside wasn't and this assumption is wrong. Let's see. Okay, she's not very impressed by this. How about, how about the paralysis? Of course, we don't have any charge anymore. So we should use the other sword, which basically never hits. There we go. I mean, really? Honestly? Really? You, die. you know what? I'm going to let you do this for me. And then heal myself. Uh. OK, 
Okay, this increases my skills, which is not that bad. But shouldn't she have, like, no strength left? Should she not be moving anymore? Or does that not work? Okay, now I'm going to get out the big hammer and kill myself in the process. Yes, I want to load the quick save. Then let's get up the, out the big hammer right at the beginning. I mean, we do have it. We did earn it from the quest, so um, it still feels a little bit like cheating if I don't try to kill them myself. But honestly, we are a Talvani wizard. I just want to say we are a space wizard, but we are a Talvani wizard. It is okay to use our powers, even if it's not the one that I was thinking of using. So let me get from here and then do this. To get out of the area where she, where my attacks or my creatures attacks hit. So this is Nidara Herandes, and she has very nice lock picks. Um, apart from that, um, not very valuable things. But we're going to keep on going this way, as always. Stick to one side of the wall and quick save. And now he takes he takes my creatures, which is good for me, because I don't even need to be in the area. They should, yeah, they should defend themselves. And as you can see, the AI is not bad, good, but still, they managed to kill him. And this is a bone mold, which is not very good. Um, but it does give me money. And I'm over encumbered. Well, not much of a problem. Let's use Mark. Let's go to the next temple. And since everything we drop will just stay here. So I don't need to have that filter on anymore. Um, well, this one is worth a lot. So we're just dropping things that are not that valuable. Like these. Just going to drop all of them, actually. Just because I don't... I don't want to run back and forth right now. I'm just going to drop all these things and keep the, the expensive blade. Sell that later in Balmora. And if I need more money, I can just, you know, go, go to some temple, find the stuff, and just sell stuff. Which isn't very nice here. But let's make glass armor, which I need. Also a reason why I did take so much damage, but on the other hand, it um, doesn't matter much. And now we're going to recall. And let us continue. Still want to use the tab button. I think these two chambers are, what do you, what do you call them, anti-chambers? I know that there is an enemy there. My tomb does not have enough charge. Well, that will be unfortunate. Wow, he must have a sword that can... How come that these are empty? That's... Whew. 
that was lucky. Okay, I can't talk a lot while fighting. So he does reflect. He does reflect my magic. That's a problem. And of course, this is super valuable. Can I sleep here? No, I need to sleep. So normally when I sleep, my items recharge. So let me sleep again. And now the... Didn't recharge a lot. Interesting. Could it be that I, I didn't install any updates? Uh, let me wait for 24 hours and rest for 24 hours and see what the charge does. Because I'm curious about that. So now that's full, that's 264. Does it? Yeah, this is full. Okay, so it does charge with a specific rate. Which is, which is good, honestly. I, I like that. It's just unexpected. So this makes the items less overpowered. You will suffer greatly. Okay, so... I have 45 skill marksman and light armor. On me, I'm going to put the reflect on, which also fortifies my speed. And she might hit herself with a 10% chance. Then I'm going to put the bracer on. These are long blades. I'm a short blade person. The healing does work with her. But she seems to have a lot of energy. Yeah, the, that is that is the way better way to do it. Okay, now it no longer feels like cheating. Because I know that the charge doesn't replenish quick enough. Um, that would be... Yes, because I, I'm too stupid to find the healing spell. fast enough to hit her. Even though I'm increasing my speed, she's way faster than me. But my light armor skill increased and I did kill her. I did manage to kill her. And she had steel, of course she had steel stuff. Um, yeah, poison obviously. Ebony shield, that is super, super expensive. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take everything, which of course leaves me over encumbered. Um, I still have the mark over here, so I'm just going to do Omsiv Intervention. And now I'm going to real quick do a little time lapse of me selling all that stuff. So, um, yeah, here we go.
And here we are again. It's day by now. We're in Vivek at the Temple and we have gained lots of money because I did sell the Ebony Shield, which means if I show the to-do list, we have two tasks where we want to gain money and I can put the save up to 9,600 gold to done. So now we can actually, at some point, buy the glass pauldron, the left glass pauldron, because we only have Erasenian glass left pauldron, which increases our um, armor rating. And with that, I'm going to recall, recall, back here into the ruins, go back to where we've been. I think we were about to head in there, right? Let us do a quick check here. Another, oh, he respawned. Okay, so that's unfortunate. So let me just head outside. Because this marks the end of our episode. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to drop a quick save or uh, later than a real save. But drop a quick save and then we were going, we are going to see each other next week. Yes, exactly. Next week. Until then. Bye bye.